Welcome back everyone to Fred Sanford's Vintage Sewing Machine Parts. And we got a couple things to talk about. But first, there are my glasses. It's just a little bit too quiet around here, so we're just gonna get just a little bit of music going. Some slow blues. Too loud? Too loud. Alright, I just did a video. It's a good video, too. They're back. The bayonet LED bulbs are back. So make sure to check out my other video. I'm not going to go over it on this video. I'm just kind of showing. There's a three and four pack special, and the four pack gets a free gift. So make sure to Check out that video. I got plenty of four packs over here ready to go. We'll set these off to the side. I will talk about this Singer 221. Beautiful machine, isn't it? And I think we've all been there before where we have to sell one item so we can buy another item. And that's where I'm at. I'm selling this item. But this time it's not for another sewing machine. Someone's parked in front of my house. I'm not sure who it is. If they're visiting me, they could be across the street at the bank. So I gotta sell that 221 for what I bought in this little tiny box. And I'm just wondering, I haven't opened it yet. So this is actually a box opening. I made a post on Facebook saying how I had to sell that in order to get I have to sell that 21 to, in order to pay for this. That's how expensive this thing was. So I'm I want to see what it's like. It's supposed to be good quality. My choices of what this is. Heavy duty electronic mounts, 100% made in the USA, limited lifetime manufacturer's warranty. You know why? It's a, got that kind of warranty because unlike the competitors, which make their mounts out of plastic, there's no plastic in this mount. And let's see. I have a little tiny tripod. It's only about that big that ran about 80 bucks with the same quality. And I'm thinking, oh boy, look at that baby. There she is. Wow. Try to figure it out. All right. So my fish finder, my graph, will go on here for my boat. Let's see how this works here. Once you tighten them down, it stays. It ain't going nowhere. And with a, such an expensive mount, I had to get something like this. So, let's see how it's gonna work here. 
Well, for the money, they could have threw in some hardware, you know? Now I gotta go buy hardware. That's a little bit disappointing. That's a little disappointing at close to $300 that it didn't come with hardware. So, obviously this goes in here like this. See if I can figure this out. I take it this goes in here like this. I'm not sure. They only give you one washer. I'm gonna guess the washer goes on this side. Since the other side has like washer material, it must operate on a spring like that. saying this note here there's this hole here this is not a lock in one so what they recommend is you stick something in that hole and crank it tight and that way if anyone just walks by and feels like to get a five finger discount they can't just loosen it with by hand they actually need some kind of tool but there you have it the two hundred and seventy dollars it's beautiful absolutely beautiful the hardware would have been nice, you know, but besides that, I'm pretty happy with the quality of it. It sure beats plastic. Sure beats plastic for sure. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. A lot more to come.